Also, I haven't been to an estate sale in years. I think the last one was 2019 or 2018. And back then my friend and I went to an estate sale that claimed to have the largest doll collection in Michigan, where I was living at the time. And that sale did not disappoint. Going to estate sales can be really fun because even if you don't end up buying anything, you get to see some pretty interesting things that people have sometimes. <laughs> So I've picked out two sales to go to today that I think will be worth seeing. I get email alerts about estate sales near me, so I've seen some pretty interesting ones going on in Vegas since I've lived here, but I've never gone to one here. It's about 8 a.m. now, and that's when the first one is starting, and then the second one starts at 9. So I'm gonna head out now. I gotta stop and get some cash. At least one of them was cash only. And then we'll head to the first sale. God, my hair is so bad today. I don't know what went wrong last night. Maybe not enough curl cream when I was styling it, but something is very off. Okay, so I'm by the first house, but there's like nobody there. I don't really wanna be the only person there. I'm kinda of creeped out. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna to go to the other one first, see what that looks like, and then come back and stop at this one later and see how it looks. This place is pretty far from where I was. I just stopped out at Kohl's to use the bathroom. I don't think I've been in a Kohl's in like 20 years. Oh God, my hair is so bad, I just, I just switched it up to try to make it look less bad. All right, let's get back on the road.
a little cowgirl. <laughs> Okay, that was a pretty nice estate sale. And the lady running it, it was her mom's house, her mom who had passed away, and she was super nice. And she was telling people how her mom used to be a dancer. And so there were all these like clothes and accessories and like wigs and hair things. And she said that her mom really liked QVC too, so she ordered a lot of stuff on there. So I thought, Instead of going back to the other first sale, which to be honest, looked pretty sketch, I passed a nice looking Goodwill on the way here. So I thought, why don't I just stop there on my way back home? It's pretty close to where this estate sale was, so. Let's stop and check out this Goodwill. Okay, I've been home for maybe a couple hours now. I made myself some spaghetti and just hung out for a little bit. I am like genuinely baffled by how my hair has gone so wrong today. I don't know, I never know what happened. I feel like I need to wash it again tonight, but I don't know if that'll make it worse, washing two nights in a row. Anyway. Here's what I got at that estate sale. So I got three things and the total for all three was $20. I got this really cute little teapot. It's glass. Well, this, this part is plastic. This is glass. It was marked five bucks. got the little directions with it. And then I got this shirt. I thought for winter, this would just be a really cute oversized shirt and I could even crop it if I want to. It's kind of nice thick material and I like the color. So gotta wash that. And I got this purse like a cute simple little crossbody and it's one of these like anti-theft like slash proof <laughs> ones 
And I just thought this would be really good for when I'm out and about and I need more storage space than in my like Sans Beast belt bag that I've been wearing because this has a lot of room inside. It's never been used, it's got the tags on. Oh yeah, it's got the blocking technology for the card things. If I don't wanna bring a wallet. Still got these inside. It's got a detachable, oh, it's got a, oh, it's got a little light. Look at this, it's a detachable key thing with a light on it. But yeah, I just thought, I thought this was like a good, uh, like, length too. This is adjustable, but this will be good for when I'm like out moving around filming or something. So that's what I got. And yeah, the bags were marked 15 each, but like I said, she gave me all three of these for 20 bucks. Now, the first sale I was gonna stop at today was kind of a bust. It looked pretty sketchy. There was like nobody parked outside, <laughs> no like visible signs at the house. And I was just like, not feeling it. <laughs> and if I get somewhere and I get a weird vibe about it, especially if I'm by myself, but even if I'm with other people too, I will just leave <laughs> without even getting out of my car. And that's what everybody should do. So yeah, that one was a bust. The one I went to was really good. The Goodwill was also a bust. Tried on two pairs of shorts and a few shirts. All of them were hard nose, but I still think I did pretty good today. And tomorrow I've got two estate sales picked out that I'm gonna go to. And I think these will actually both be pretty good ones. I forgot to show that I also got this pack of hair things, totally unopened. I only have like two of these right now and these look way better quality than the ones I have. So this was also one of the things I got for my total of 20 bucks. when the catnip hits. Okay, last night I put on a scalp serum and then I clarified, regular shampooed and deep conditioned my hair and we're doing much better today. So I won't have to feel actual shame and embarrassment walking around in public like I did yesterday. <laughs> so like I said yesterday, I've got two sales picked out to go to today. It's about 8.30 right now. The first one started at 7.30 and the second one will start at nine. And these two are close to each other too. So I won't be driving all around town like yesterday. So let's head out to the first one.
just left and I just got this little scarf. So I went to pay and I go up to the guy and I'm like, just this. And he was like, just that. Uh, next time, next time you pay. And I was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> so I just got a free scarf. All right, let's head to the next one. Okay, been home for a couple hours again. Here's today's haul. So I already kind of showed this little scarf I got at the first house, and I just thought this would be really cute as a hair scarf. For some reason, I just really liked this one. I'm not into blue, but for some reason, I was just really drawn to this one and I just really like it. So that's my little scarf I got for free. And then at the second house, I got this set of black placemats. So these were 25 cents each. And at first I was like, well, I'll just get one because I'm always kind of like, I should really buy cat placemats and I just never do. And I like how kind of basic these are, even though they do have like a snake print pattern. There was a lot of animal print in that house. <laughs> but at first I was like, well, I'll just get one placemat. And then I was like, well, maybe I'll get two for Chloe's two different water bowls. And then I was like, don't be stupid. Don't split up a set of four placemats that are 25 cents each. Just so I just got these four placemats for a dollar. I'm gonna put one under Chloe's food and water bowl in here. And then I think the other one in my room where her other water bowl is. And then I'll just have two extra placemats. And I also got, continuing the animal print theme, I got this scarf, which I also think would be like a cute hair scarf. I can figure out a cute way to wear it. I really like orange and I like animal print. So I thought this was really cute. And I also, I so I kept going back to this. I don't know why. So I just ended up getting it, but I bought this little bear. I just kept seeing him sitting on the table and I just kept like going back <laughs> and thinking like, I want this bear, I don't know why. But yeah, it's a 1984 handcrafted in Korea, little vintage bear. I think I'm just gonna take this ribbon off though. It's like hanging off anyway, and it's kind of faded and gross looking. So at the first house, like I said, I paid nothing. And then at the second house, they charged me $2 for everything. So here's today's haul for a total of two bucks. 
these are just some cheap placemats that you can see were like two bucks originally. So, and my bad, this is an alligator pattern, not snake. 